Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, good afternoon. Um, thank you for coming. Thank you for joining this meeting. Uh, this is a time we should have started actually, but uh, we are still waiting for the presence of uh, our rector and uh, Mr. Rahmat, the chair of ISMA program. We still on another same event with another uh, university. Don't be long, uh, please uh, give us more time here to wait for the rector to, uh, to join this meeting. Yeah, no problem. We are patient enough, no problem. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Pak Rektor. Hello, good afternoon. Terima kasih ya. Hello, Mr. Ispan. How are you? Good, oh, thank you. Great And, to see you. How are you? Yeah, I'm we, we, fine. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Pak, izin Pak ya. Still waiting for uh, Mr. Pak Rahmat, uh, Isma, uh, chair, chair of ISMA program. Sebentar ya, Pak ya. Mohon maaf, sebentar aja.
sorry nggak ganggu <laughs> udah bisa gabung gabung ya ya oke okay, oke okay, makasih ya Right, I think we can start now because Pak uh, Rahmat, the Isma, from Isma is uh, joining us, I think. Okay. Huh? Okay, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good morning, participants from Hungary. Welcome and thank you for attending this event, Indonesian International uh, Student Mobility Award, or ISMA Partnership Meeting with University of Pax Hungary, hosted by Universitas Sumatra Utara. Uh, I am Esther Nababan, Head of the Office of International Affairs, Universitas Sumatra Utara. I'm the moderator of this event. This event also attended by the heads of the Office of International Affairs and uh, representatives from various universities who are uh, interested in collaborating with Pax University. Uh, Honorary Rector Universitas Sumatra Utara, uh, Bapak Dr. Murianto Amin, SOS uh, Mr. Pak Rahmat Sriwijaya, PhD, Chair of the Indonesian International Student Mobility Awards or ISMA program, Professor Dr. Istvan Tarosi, Director of the International Center, University of Pax, and then uh, Mr. Gabor Chess, Institutional International Credit Mobility Coordinator, Dr. Kiongki Posgai, Head of the Study Abroad and Summer School Office, uh, and then a representative of the ISMA Working Group who attend this meeting. Head of International Affairs Office, representatives of cooperation and partnerships from Indonesian universities. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to this event and thank you for coming. We are very happy to meet you all, even though virtually. Uh, this event, which was uh, initiated by the Indonesian International Student Mobility Award or ISMA Working Group, uh, is to provide an opportunity for representatives of universities in Indonesia uh, to meet and have live discussions with representatives of, of Pax University regarding collaboration. Thank you to the Indonesian International Student Mobility Award Working Group for providing the opportunity for International Affairs Office Universitas Sumatra Utara to host a partnership meeting with Pax University today. As an additional information, last year, one of the ISMA awardees is from the Faculty of Law, Universitas Sumatra Utara. Ms. Holongi Teonia uh, had the opportunity to study for one semester at Pax University. She is present at this event now. And before the opening, she had shared her pictures when uh, she was studying at Pax University. Thank you, Holongi. We are proud of you. Well, before we start the event, I will read the agenda for this event as follows. I will, uh, it will be started with uh, opening remark from Rektor Universitas Sumatra Utara, Bapak Dr. Murianto Amin, SOS MSI, then followed by a photo session. After photo session, we proceed to the next agenda and then uh, we'll welcome remark by uh, Mr. Rahmat Sriwijaya, PhD. Chair of Indonesian International Student Mobility Award uh, Program for the Ministry of Research, uh, Technology and Higher Education. Afterwards is the presentation session. 
presentation is about introducing University of Pax by Professor Isfan Taros Tarosi, director of the International Center University of Pax Hungary, followed by question and answer session. Uh, discussion about the collaboration between University of Pax and representatives of uh, Indonesian universities. Questions can also be submitted in the chat. Here uh, we also have two representatives from University of Pax who will involve in the discussion session. They are Mr. Uh, Gabor Cerz in, from Institutional uh, International Credit Mobility Coordinator. Yeah? He is the coordinator from Institutional International Credit Mobility, and then uh, Dr. Kyungzi Postgai, head of the study abroad and uh, summer school office. Then the last session is brief conclusion followed by closing. Okay, all right, then uh, let us invite the rector of Universitas Sumatra Utara to deliver his speech. Pak Rektor, uh, the time is yours. Silakan Pak Rektor untuk memberikan kata sambutan. Terima kasih. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Om Swastiastu, Namo Buddhaya, Salam Kebajikan. Good afternoon and warmest greetings to all of us here. To the, the Honorable Director of International Center Peace University, Hungary. Professor Dr. Ispan Tarosi, Head of ISMA Program, Pak Rahmat Aswijaya, PhD, Head of International Affairs Offices and Representatives of Paris Indonesia Universities, Head of Khusus International Affairs Office, Dr. Esther Nababan, Sekretari Khusus International Affairs Office and to all attendees that I could not mention one by one. I would like to apologize for that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let us express our gratitude to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, God Almighty, because by His grace, and uh, this afternoon we can gather to attend uh, the Indonesia. Indonesian International Student Mobility Awards Partnership Meeting 2022 with the University of Peace Hungary. Dear ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to thank the Ministry of Education and Culture of the Republic of Indonesia for appointing the Universitas Sumatra Utara as the host for this important meeting. We also thank you for the for the University of Pix Hungary for the initial collaboration that started with the ISMA program in our program, where one of the students from Universitas Matara Utara had the opportunity to study there. We hope that through this activity in Universitas Sumatera Utara can get more information about the University of Pix Hungary and the opportunities for collaboration that can be explored. In addition to students, staff, and lecturers exchange, Universitas Sumatera Utara and the University of Pax Hungary can cooperate in joint research activities other social care actions uh, within the scope of sciences and technology and other collaborations aimed at improving the quality of education and human resources. On these occasions, Universitas Sumatera Utara and the University of Pix Hungary and all other universities whose representative our vision in this meeting will discuss with uh, each other and try to find common ground about what uh, fields and what kind of operations we want uh, to do. Synergy and collaborations between universities, both overseas and domestically, 
have important values for building uh, the reputations and and excellencies of universities involvement and giving a more significant uh, role for social benefits a university with all so many academics must be present as an institutions that uh, becomes a problem solver for various issues in uh, many societies as well as is in a larger context climate change and uh, environmental pollution animal protection and handling world uh, crisis uh, in the field of health finance and then other uh, food and poverty are just a few uh, of the many things that must be uh, the attention of academics to be actively involving in finding solutions. Therefore, the, the program over in this co collaboration should ideally also represent the major interest above so that they do not have uh, to focus only on temporary interest. This cooperation can also be, be bound in an official agreement and uh, has a clear legal standing. Uh, the memorandum of understanding and the cooperation agreement that will be carried out must have clarity, clarity and strength that uh, are directed to achieve a novel goal uh, namely building a better world for all human beings and other living uh, beings. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I can say to on this uh, occasion. I hope all participants can make the most uh, of uh, this momentum. Hopefully, this meeting can provide uh, goodness for all of us. Congratulations on following. May God Almighty provide the best way and bless all our efforts. Thank you. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, salam Om Santi 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 Om Namo Buddhaya. Thank you very much, Dr. Murianto Amin, Rector of Universitas Sumatera Utara. Now it's time for the photo session. Please turn on your camera. Maslin, tolong dipandu ya, Maslin. Halo operator. Oke, okay, I will take the picture. Smile. And then the second screen. Please turn on your camera. I want to see your smile. Oke, okay, and then the third uh, screen. Thank you very much. Oke. Okay. Pak Rektor, terima kasih Pak Rektor. Thank you. Now, let's proceed to the next agenda. Let's welcome uh, Mr. Rahmat Sriwijaya, PhD, Chair of uh, ISMA Program to deliver his speech. Pak Rahmat, the stage is yours. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Esther Sota Maulina Baban. Uh, thank you very much for welcome, uh, welcome me uh, in this uh, Zoom meeting. Uh, thank you uh, to uh, honorable present uh, Dr. Murianto Amin SOS MSC, Director of the University Sumatera Utara. Terima kasih Pak Rektor. Terima kasih Pak. Salam Pak, selamat sore. And then... Uh, and also our colleague from uh, Pax University Hungary. Uh, good uh, morning uh, in Hungary. Uh, thank you, Professor Dr. Uh, Isfan Tatarosi, the Director of International Center, uh, Mr. Gabor 
ada institusional internasional kredit mobility koordinator dan dokter uh, Yong Yi uh, the head of the study abroad at summer school office uh, the Pax University of Hungary thank you very much uh, for joining this uh, morning meeting uh, we are uh, very happy to have you here and then uh, I have to I would like to say thank you very much to um, University of Pax uh, for uh, taking our student uh, during their stay in your university for one semester. And uh, they have a good uh, experience during their stay in university. Uh, I think it's uh, good for them to know about uh, your university and also your your country, yeah. Because the, the aim of this um, program is my program is to uh, to give the student uh, international exposure and global uh, experience. So uh, I think now uh, this uh, meeting is a part of the ISMA program. We. Uh, we want to strengthen the uh, partnership between your university and Indonesian university. Actually, we have uh, 80, uh, 98 uh, Indonesian university joined with this program in this year, the last year, I mean. And But I think uh, this morning, uh, more than uh, 45 Indonesian university joined with this Zoom meeting. So it's a good uh, uh, chance for you for the University of Pax to promote your university and to have a new friend from Indonesia from Indonesia and I think um, you will have um, uh, many university uh, from Indonesia to join with your uh, international program so if we think uh, 40 university join this program, so um, I believe that more than 20 uh, will continue uh, collaboration with your university uh, in the future. And then for the next uh, ISMA uh, program, uh, 2022, we will start to select the student in March. And we now we will announce uh, in April, and then uh, we send the student in August or September to uh, our international partner. Uh, for uh, our international partner, uh, we hope in in the end of this month we will announce the potential partner uh, which joined with this program in this year. So I believe that uh, Pax University will continue <laughs> with the uh, ISMA program. So please um, allow, allow us to send our student again to your university uh, this year. Okay, th thank you very much. So uh, actually this uh, uh, meeting is belong to University Usuyu, Sumatra University. So uh, I will follow the uh, meeting, but uh, Dr. Esther, you will lead the uh, meeting. Thank you very much, Dr. Esther. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Rahmat Sriwijaya, PhD Chair of ISMA Program. Thank you, makasih ya, Pak Rahmat. Makasih, Bu. Now, before we proceed to the next agenda, please allow me to give Holongi just a moment, a little moment, Holongi, the awardee of ISMA 2021, I uh, would like to deliver her tes testimony briefly, yeah. Apa, uh, Holongi, say hello to the team from University of Pax, maybe. Okay, Holongi, go on. Time is yours. Thank you so much, uh, my master. Uh, good afternoon uh, buat 
Pak Rahmat, Pak Mianto, and good morning from Indonesia to Mr. Isfan Torosi, Ms. Gyeonggi, and Mr. Gabor. I really miss Paige right now, so it is a fun moment, and I'm grateful to have these experiences to uh, meet again with uh, the University of Paige Behalf. So I want to say thank you to all uh, University International Office uh, that come to this event. Uh, I want to share a little bit of my experiences and I really hope that all of the students in Indonesia will have the same experiences that I really got by attending University of Page last year. So uh, first of all, yeah, I'm really missing Paige right now. I really miss to go to Santo Dormitory and meet a lot of uh, people there and miss my ride with the bus, the Tuki bus, to go to the Faculty of Humanities and Business and Economics as well. I'm going to the library. I really love that place. And thank you for assisting 41 of us from the beginning of our program until the end of the program and helping us in answering each questions of us and even helping us outside of the program. I really remember that uh, that time I contacted Miss Flora regarding about, I want to know about volunteer program that happening in page and she answered my question in detail. As there are a lot of international students in page, the experiences becomes a lot better and adaptation becomes a lot easier because everyone is dealing with the same thing. Everyone is so friendly and open, especially for us, the Indonesian students. The professors in University of Page has been nothing but awesome. Every single professor surely have their style of teaching, but each of them are awesome. Based on my own experiences and the testimonies that I, I get from my friends, from, from other Indonesian students. In University of Page, we often got a lot of challenge to showcase our opinion, and the class is very often using two ways communication instead of one. That is, that is why I really feel that my connection in my life is not always uh, also about lectures relationship, but they are my best friend as well. The professors are always helpful throughout the study, surely pushing and inspiring us to show our very best in class. The class was never really boring, even though most of us didn't get the subject we studied back in our home university. The professor, the classmates, and the study environment surely makes it possible for us to manage. The student door might not sound like a good place to study, but to, to me, it's surprisingly, it is really comfortable for me. I'm very glad to say that everyone are so passionate and serious about their study. So I do expect that the study room, especially in the center dormitory, will always be packed, especially during exam period. But it won't stop me to learn a lot from them and really encourage me to become a better person. As a foreign student, I feel so welcome, yet not alienated or being differentiated at all. It is very comforting as I can find my own study method and pace. To be honest, those five months I was in page was considerably the best and the quickest five months I've ever felt in my life. That just come to show how comfortable and amazing it is to study in University of Page. To close my speech, I would likely to say that I'm really lucky to be accepted in University of Page and encourage the over this in the the next batch to enroll themselves and be part of this amazing university. Once again, thank you so much for the opportunity to accept me in University of Page. I'm I send back to Miss Asel. I love you. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, Holongi, amazing. Yeah, you must miss University of Page. Okay. Next, we come to the core of this meeting, which is the presentation entitled "Introducing University of Page." delivered by Professor Dr. Kispan Tarosi, Director of the International Center. Prof. Tarosi, the time is yours. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Salamat siang, salam alaikum. Thank you so much for inviting us to this fantastic meeting. And Dr. Esther, thank you so much for your uh, efforts to put everything together in the right order. This is just a fantastic organization so far. So we highly appreciate that. Uh, Honorable Rector, Dr. Murianto Amin, and Chair of the ISMA program, Dr. Rachman Sri Vijaya 
I highly welcome you and wholeheartedly welcome you on behalf of the University of Page and also our great student. And we can say that we share her, so our student as well. She will stay our student forever, most probably. Uh, Holongi, thank you so much for this beautiful uh, testimony um, and your fantastic pronunciation of Page. Congratulations, actually. Um, and I wish to continue with the congratulations uh, seriously to the Indonesian government, um, because I think the ISMA program is just an exemplary uh, of all what we can see around the world in terms of internationalization and the internationalization of uh, Indonesian higher education and all the universities uh, to participating in this program, making efforts to be more visible, to be more competitive, to be more cooperative actually with all the other universities across the globe. And we are so delighted and honored at the same time to have been chosen and as one of your partners. Um, I'll show you in my presentation, the number of Indonesian students we got in the ISMA program, as well as in addition to that, with the other great program of our country, the Stipendium Hungaricum Scholarship Program, which I would compare it to yours in that respect, a very important effort of internationalization and making our higher education landscapes more globally competitive. So actually I wanted to start off with this to underscore the importance of such meetings and such collaborations. And let me share with you um, a presentation we have prepared with my colleagues um, and I'm going to share the screen now and if it's possible, I am disabled. Can, can I share my presentation? Can you help me, Dr. Esther? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Haslin, please. So if I can can't be share. a co-host, yeah, can I you can share it now? Well, if I am a co-host, I can do it. Yes, now I can, I can, oh, something like that. Yes, uh, let me just check. If you can see it properly. Yes, we can. Can you see the slides? And yes. can, can, yes, can you can. see the slides moving? No, they are not moving. They are not moving yet. Okay, I'm going to check again. Um, then uh, let me share again. And this is always something to check right before we start. Is it moving now? No. Not yet. Okay. So um, then I will do another share in a sec. And it must work. Yes. One minute. Okay. So new share. Is it moving now? No, unfortunately not. No problem. And how about now? It's okay yeah. now. It's moving. It's okay. Fantastic. So I will be not using the presentation mode, but uh, in this way, I will share our thoughts with you, if that's okay for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So welcome to the University of Pitch, uh, which is the first Hungarian university from the 14th century. Uh, located in a historic town in the southern part of the country. I'm going to share with you in a, in a map where we are located in a second. Um, but uh, this is about Hungary. I'm sure you are familiar with most of these data, but it's just a nice, you know, refreshing uh, slide in terms of the size of the population and some basic facts and figures about the country. And uh, once again, I was so happy to hear how Holongi pronounced our name properly in Hungarian. You may recall that Hungarian as a language is one of the most challenging ones in the globe. Of course, you know, not uh, hierarchizing basically all other languages, but I know how difficult it is. Uh, and it was so great to see and hear how she has mastered some of the basics actually of that language. Um, Hungary as a country has become one of the most popular tourist destinations recently in the world. And uh, of course, because we can offer a lot of things amongst which you will find higher education and research of utmost importance. On this map, you can see that Pech is located quite 
basically in the vicinity of many other countries of our macro region. And it's rather well connected to all these other countries, neighboring countries. Um, Budapest is not that far. Budapest is the capital city with the international airport and all other infrastructural connections. But here you can see it's so easy to travel right away from page to other parts of Central and Eastern Europe and even further down the road. Uh, so we always say that page is basically uh, very much in the heart of Central and Eastern Europe. And it's so easy to communicate, travel, communicate, and, and encounter so many differences and similarities in, the, in this region. Higher education is of utmost importance for the Hungarian government and for Hungary as a society. And we have been basically developing the sector uh, very uh, recently at a very important pace. And that also means that we have been basing and building upon the achievements of the past. And when I say the past, of course, our immediate past as well, also going back to the socialist times, because higher education and education as such uh, had always been important for Hungary. Um, we are part of the Bologna system of the uh, European scheme. And that means, of course, uh, the three tier kind of approach to education and research. We have the European credit transfer system, obviously, and all the accreditation processes that will um, confirm quality assurance uh, in general. The city of Page is a very lively and historic town, um, as you see, uh, located quite close to our Croatian neighbors um, and very much in a multicultural environment. The city itself is a very multicultural um, place and spot within Hungary. We have so many um, different population groups speaking various different languages in addition to Hungarian and also uh, preserving their cultural heritage. Let those be uh, Croatians, Serbians, uh, Italians, Germans, as a matter of fact. Um, Page has always been a kind, kind of a cultural junction throughout the centuries. And we basically build uh, from a university perspective as well upon all these assets we have. Um, we are part with one of our assets in the downtown area in the city of Page of the UNESCO World Heritage. And this is basically the early Christian cemetery uh, found and excavated underground. Uh, you can compare this hidden treasure basically to the ones in Rome, Italy. And these are the two places where you can find such, a, such an important um, world heritage basically across the globe. And connected with the latest Balkan wars in our vicinity, uh, in 1998, Page, the city was given by the UNESCO again, an important award that was the Cities for Peace Prize because of helping refugees uh, come, and, come and find safe haven basically uh, from the war-like situations actually, and really helping uh, you know, society to accommodate them and integrate them as much as, as they need. Um, in 2010, Page was the first Hungarian city uh, bearing the title European Capital of Culture, and that is the number one cultural project of the European Union um, since 1985, when it was launched by Greece. So every year there's a huge competition all across Europe and all across these countries to, to get this title, which means that throughout the year, you have over a thousand or 2000 cultural programs attracting visitors from all parts of the globe. Now Page did it in 2010, and also that resulted in a number of infrastructure developments, one of which was mentioned by Volongi, the fantastic library we have. Uh, it, it, it dates back to the European Capital of Culture year. We have over a little over 20,000 students in total, out of which, uh, we have about 5,000 international students representing 114 sending countries in the globe. So basically what we, you know, sometimes joke with uh, amongst our colleagues is that the whole wide world is in page at the University of Page. Uh, and all these cultures are represented basically uh, in, in page. Um, we go back and date back our education scheme 
over 650 years when the first Hungarian university was founded in 1367 by the then king and bishop of the time. And, uh, and that was basically the launch of higher education in Hungary. And one of the first universities of Central and Eastern Europe, in addition to Krakow, Prague and Vienna, basically, or, you know, if you go back a bit further down uh, or Western, westwards, basically to Germany, uh, also Heidelberg, for instance. Anyway, um, we have been experiencing and, and ever so developing our internationalization scheme for over 30 years. Um, and uh, that means really that global international education has become one of the flagships, actually flagship activities and strategies of the University of Page. Um, we are also a teaching and referral hospital basically at the same time. And that means that we run a clinical system, uh, a clinical center uh, serving the whole wide region. Uh, all the counties basically in southern Transdanubia, this regional part of, of Hungary, serving, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of people in their, you know, health related issues. That also uh, allows us to provide a first hand, hands on experience and practical experience for those students who choose to come here and study medical sciences, pharmaceutical sciences, health sciences, they are right there working with uh, our patients actually from these uh, from this macro region. And in the past 20 years or so, uh, with the help of the Hungarian government and all other sources coming from the European Union, uh, we have been expanding actually in terms of our research space. And in terms of the research space, we have a very high tech research center, uh, the so-called Sentagotai Research Center. Uh, basically, uh, I'm going to share some thoughts later on with you. So, of course, I mean, as you all know, rankings are important and rankings we consider as important as well. We don't want to fetishize them, but I think international rankings do play a role in our visibility and partnerships. And recently, one of our faculties got an important accreditation, and that was the Business and Economics Faculty uh, by the F EFMD organization. Uh, but we are striving for all kinds of international accreditations to all our programs and faculties, basically. Amongst the rankings, this coming from Indonesia, as you can see and you are aware of, uh, the green metric world university rankings we participate in ranked the University of Page as the 100th most sustainable university in 2019. We have an important program the so-called Green University Program. And we consider the SDGs a very important framework of reference for our further developments uh, of, of all kind, basically. In 2017, Page was, with the initiative of the University of Page, the first Hungarian city to be awarded by the UNESCO again as the City of Learning, Learning City Award. There is a huge wide network of these global learning cities and Page was the first Hungarian city and university to join this network with all the efforts we do and reach out in our ecosystem, not just focusing on the university, but really as you know, a third mission of our university to reach out to all educational establishments and educational initiatives and basically make them come together and work with us. Uh, for instance, in the form of the annual Learning City Festival. Uh, which we initiated uh, a couple of years ago. These are the 10 faculties or schools in American terms we have. We call them faculties. Uh, and uh, this provides a really wide academic portfolio. Uh, a very comprehensive university, therefore, uh, we consider the University of Pages. And you can see that from the very traditional uh, disciplines going back in decades and centuries, uh, you will find a lot of terrains and scientific domains uh, accommodated in the university structure, uh, ranging from business and economics to regional development, law via engineering to obviously medical and pharmaceutical studies. But we are one of the universities in Central and Eastern Europe in such a comprehensive setting offering full degree programs as very similar to the music and 
arts academies uh, in the country. We have a faculty of music and visual arts um, with fantastic programs uh, offering uh, degrees, for instance, in the Kodai method of uh, teaching music, as well as obviously uh, in the fields of visual arts. We are one of the leading research universities in the country. And uh, as you can see, there are a number of main disciplines, organic, inorganic sciences, wise, social sciences, engineering sciences, and humanities. And we pursue, um, really put a lot of effort into pursuing research in environmental laser technology recently, biotechnology, and pharmaceutical research, uh, especially now connected to the global pandemic. Um, we have 22 doctoral schools and one of the newest programs that we are offering from next academic year on is a doctoral program in international politics, which uh, will be very competitive, uh, most probably um, in the macro region. For instance, because just because um, part of this, there will be a specialization thread, for instance, in African studies, um, which is one of my research domains. Um, and we are really keen on finding some niche areas as well uh, to, to uh, deepen uh, actually our presence and position um, in the landscape of higher education and research. And actually this is the um, professor after whom we named the very modern facility uh, of our research coordination uh, called Santagotai Research Center. Janos Sentagotai was one of our professors, a neurobiologist and a world known brain scientist basically who taught anatomy at the University of Page uh, uh, decades ago. So basically in that research science, uh, research center, we offer a lot of uh, intriguing uh, and, and cross-cutting kind of research angles in biosciences, environmental sciences and IT related research. And one of the highly secured virus, virology labs in the country is also found there. And one of our young professors, very dynamic professors, uh, actually leads a national program connected to uh, COVID-19. In terms of our international activities, um, as you can see, we have a lot of partners across the globe. I do not want to stick to the numbers because numbers of course matter, uh, but in a, in a sensible way, obviously, because we consider partnerships important, but we do consider mutually meaningful partnerships. And we don't want to you know, grow the numbers only on paper, but we would like to foster partnerships that are mutually important and beneficial for the partners collaborating. That's one of our philosophies. And we don't want to sign agreements with yet another hundred universities just for the sake of signing agreements. We, we, we would like to find you know, the proper terms of exchanges that are mutually meaningful. So therefore we have Erasmus plus agreements and we also put a lot of effort now in the past five years or so on the new scheme of the European Union, the International Credit Mobility Scheme, uh, my good colleague, uh, Mr. Gabor Tse, um, um, if you're interested, uh, we'll be able to, to share more information on that with you. But that might give us even further opportunities to engage in meaningful partnerships. Um, we also sign MOUs and we also foster strategic bilateral partnerships as well. So basically in all the continents of the globe, we have such partnerships. Um, one of the strategic angles of our internationalization is represented by Dr. Dionji Pozhgai, who is the head of the office responsible for study abroad uh, semester and year long programs, as well as other short cycle programs in the form of summer schools, winter schools and other trainings uh, that are more and more attractive, not just in physical terms, but also online terms for students. Um, probably this was one of the reasons why we, in the past two, three years, due to the pressures of the global pandemic, really heavily focused on developing online forms of these short cycle programs. And if 
I may, um, I'm so grateful for the European International Association of Education, uh, the EIA, to grant us with the largest prize they have, the prize of excellence for internationalization, especially working out these online programs. So we are member of these associations. Um, and of course, some of them are more important than others, but we would like to foster networkings, of course, at the same time. One of our key allies in that sense is EDUC, as you can see, the first one among these university associations, the European Digital University, um, which is financed by the new program of the European Commission called the European Universities Initiative. Uh, we are part of a consortium led by a German university, the University of Potsdam, and we have French, Italian, uh, Czech, Spanish and Norwegian partners. So if any of you or you would like to work with PAGE, right away you will find yourselves in a consortium of eight universities. Uh, so via PAGE, there is an opportunity to open a larger door basically. Um, and we also participate in the Hungarian gov government scholarship scheme called the Stipendium Hungaricum program. Um, at the moment, we have 1,100 scholarship holders out of the 5,000 total international student population. In terms of, of our Inter Indonesian partnership so far, um, we are so proud once again to be part of the ISMA program and we definitely uh, are determined if you also think like that to continue this partnership and we are very much eagerly waiting for the results actually uh, for the next round. So last time, 41 scholarship students we received. Thank you so much for them. Uh, great students, fantastic excellence and devotion to studying and also to intercultural learning. Uh, they demonstrated that. So it was so great to have them in, in our classes. I had, the, I had the chance as a professor of political science to teach some of them. So that was so great. Um, in addition, we have 27 Indonesian students. Uh, studying at the university at the moment. So Olongi was absolutely right because now we have an Indonesian population in page. Come on, we have an Indonesian diaspora segment. So cool. Uh, and we would like to build upon that. That was one of the reasons why we asked the Indonesian students to show some bits and pieces of Indonesian cultures in plural, as we know that you have such a rich multiculturality in Indonesia. So we devoted a day to Indonesian culture and your students actually presented fantastic, you know, cultural performances during that day. That was so great. Um, and yes, we have of course, exchange and fee paying students as well. So it's a growing population from your country. Already we have partnership agreements with some of the universities and some of our faculty members uh, are connecting more to um, some of the higher education landscape entities in your country. And we are really pleased to participate in the Indonesian International Credit Transfer Program and also receive students uh, for the study abroad opportunities. So as you can see, we consider the Indonesian partnership thread and angle as an important one for the coming years. In terms of our new infrastructure developments, uh, let me share a couple of thoughts with you in the last part of this presentation because I think it's important for you to see that yes, we have inherited a kind of um, you know, university setting in such a lovely town uh, from, the, from the immediate past, the socialist times. And for instance, from an architectural point of view, you will find in such a historic town, you know, so many different you know, uh, historical angles. One of them would be of course connected to socialism, yes? So some of the buildings would resemble you know, socialist architecture. And at the same time, as you can see, you know, heritage and tradition can easily go together with modernization. Now, this is uh, the newest campus site connected to our medical school, which was just finished and just opened recently. And this is now, and I am so proud to say that very confidently, one of the most modern medical campus sites in Central Europe with all the facilities, uh, clinical facility connections, as well as the teaching um, you know, um, um, uh, realms and, and uh, vicinity, basically. But we have further plans. 
and the Hungarian government um, plays uh, an important role in that and uh, lays an emphasis on further developing higher education and research in Hungary. So we have plans to uh, introduce in the coming five years or so new infrastructure parts and places for research, especially research and innovation. This is the technology and innovation park idea and a kind of a knowledge management center. We also have a digital data analysis and laboratory center um, where we would like to work with big data and other IT solutions and also an interdisciplinary innovation center uh, accommodating all the pharmaceutical smart healthcare kind of application developments uh, we care for in the coming years. The number of international students were going up and up in the past couple of years. I told you about the 5,000 number, but you of course have to distinguish active international students and passive international students. Passive would mean that for instance, after a semester, they passive, they become passive because for a semester, they don't continue their studies, but they are still part of the international student community uh, in page. Um, these are the top 10 sending countries in 2021. And what you can see is that um, as you compare it with let's say 20 years back when Euro dominated uh, the sending countries, now you can see a really wide variety of continents and cultures. Uh, just to mention, for instance, uh, you know, Jordan, Turkey, Egypt, uh, even Sub-Saharan Africa, Iran, and the Far East in the, in the form of China. So, you know, we have really a very intercultural campus in general, all across the city and in the region. We consider that when any student arrives in Page at the University of Page, that person finds Page or basically cultivates feelings about Page as a kind of a second home. Um, and if that is the plan, of course, we need to offer a lot of services. So we constantly develop these services and we know that, you know, it's a never ending story. We need to focus on the well being of our student population. And in terms of, of that angle, student counseling, helping students out with learning uh, difficulties or whatever notions connected to learning, personal mentors, the body network, as we call, you know, helping students integrate better or providing legal aid in certain cases when, for instance, the students would like to find uh, a rent home and would like to sign a proper contract with the landowner or the landlord, then, you know, we are there to help that student and also to, to basically really allow them to feel at home in the cultural sense, we offer sensitivity courses at the same time. So a number of services we provide, and we know a very self-critical statement from me at this point, we know that we always find new terrains to develop. So we are not that good yet. We strive for being better and better. Yes, in that respect as well. And as Holongi said, yes, I mean, Pech is, is really a student city. You know, it's a, it, with, a, with a very vibrant student life, we initiated a very interesting program a couple of years ago in the form of the International Student Ambassadors, the IS, I, ISA's program. And actually we recruit from this international student body uh, certain students to act as links or providing as links within the university and the outside community. So they are also basically our colleagues, if you wish, you know, in terms of making page as the better and, and the most livable kind of place for these, for these students. In terms of services, of course, we offer more and more sport opportunities or sporting opportunities. And we have some unique things such as the so-called dancing university, Actually, when you come to Hungary, this is the only place where you can find courses, all kinds of courses uh, to participate in learning how to dance salsa or whatever. And that also makes you know, uh, uh, the life even bearable and more enjoyable uh, as a matter of fact. So all in all, Paige is ready for uh, ISMA to continue ready for collaboration with Indonesian partners, your university as well. And uh, 
once again, we are so grateful for the government of Indonesia to select, to have selected PAGE, the University of PAGE. Uh, we were really working a lot on, on our application, I can tell you, to, to really be competitive and to show our strengths um, and values um, to be able to participate in the program. Um, we are open, as I showed you in the very, very beginning uh, of this presentation, open uh, and stay open for collaboration with you, uh, basically uh, offering an open door to our common future, not just your future, but our future as well. So thank you so much. Let's keep in touch and let's talk over any opportunities that may arise. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Dr. Itzvan Tarosi, uh, Director of, international, uh, of the International Center. Amazing, great university. I feel like I want to go back to being a student again and apply for ISMA to the University of Pax, which of course is impossible. You are more than welcome, Dr. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> now uh, we come to the discussion and question and answer session. Uh, before we start with the discussion, may I remind you, please, all the participants, please do kindly fill out the attendance list at the link provided on the chat. Now for this discussion with Professor Dr. Istvan Tarosi, let us also invite, uh, let's welcome Mr. Gabor Chess, Institutional uh, International uh, Credit Mobility Coordinator, and also Dr. Gyeonggi Potsgai, Head of the Study Abroad and Summer School Office to join the question and answer and discussion session. And in addition to this, there are several universities actually that have submitted proposals. Uh, for collaboration, which has been submitted in the registration form. We will send this to Prof. Tarozi and also to Dr. Giongzi by email. Okay. Please, for those of you uh, who want to discuss the implementation of your proposed collaboration, the pro proposal and the term of reference should already be there. And uh, here we discuss the implementation plan. Uh, maybe what should be prepared so that we know uh, what we have to prepare and we can think of a solution if there is uh, there are um, obstacles yeah okay okay let's start the discussion yep bapak ibu silakan if you uh, if you have any questions silakan langsung Okay, thank Bu you. Dari, ya, Bu Reni dari Universitas from University of uh, Samratulangi ya. Silakan Bu Reni. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Um, well, I would thank all the uh, uh, University of Page staff for having our students. Two of our students from uh, Samratulangi University, Rachel and Deilami. Okay, they're so happy coming back and uh, so thankful that they were placed in uh, such a beautiful uh, city of Page with a beautiful university. Thank you very much for having them. And of course, we would like to uh, uh, collaborate with you for the future. Perhaps we just uh, start with a simple thing, you know, a uh, uh, lecture, maybe exchange lectures, having a guest lecture from you guys, okay? For our um, lectures, as well as also maybe a seminar or conference or things like that, okay? And then we could proceed to having a research collaboration as we have a, a wide variety of faculties okay, at the Samratulang University and also student exchange programs or other means of collaboration that we can uh, collaborate with in the future. So we hope that we can implement this with the University of Page. And uh, once again, I would like to thank, thank you all for having uh, two of our students, three actually our students to Hungary, one to uh, University of Seget and two to University of Page. So first, uh, at the beginning, actually I was thinking like, oh, where's the University of Page? in Hungary and then found out that very interesting and beautiful uh, university. So once again, thank you very much and looking forward for the collaboration in the future with you. Thank you. 
Okay, Bu Reni. Now, uh, okay, other questions, Bapak Ibu. Dr. Esther, would you agree to have uh, instant reactions to the questions or the? Yeah, proposal? sure. Yeah. Would that be okay? Yeah, of, of course. Okay. Okay. Anyone thank who you. Wants to deliver the question, please raise your hands or just uh, deliver the questions. Thank you. So if I may, if, I, if I'm allowed to just uh, right okay. away reflect upon what we heard. Yeah, Thank you sure. so much for your nice words. And actually, we are so happy to to receive your students. Um, in general, our and as a professor teaching some of them, actually, I, I, as I told you, I, I can confirm that we were very very pleased uh, with the. Let me use this word: the quality. You know, they represented in in personal qualities in academic qualities and the, in the efforts of, of studying, learning in a, in a foreign environment. And, uh, and that's, you know, also congratulate not just them, but your institutions and the whole wide program. So I think that's, that's a great way forward. In terms of your proposal of first uh, finding a couple of lecturers who are willing to offer, you know, seminars or guest lecturing, I, I fully agree with that. That's one of our philosophies actually. Uh, we call it a step-by-step -step partnership building process. Uh, first, I guess the best is to let the lecturers talk and, you know, exchange upon what, you know, common interests we may find upon which we can base, you know, long-lasting partnerships. So we agree with you. Let's do it. We are open for that. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's fantastic. We're very happy, of, of course, to, uh, collaborate, to collaborate with you too, to expand the collaboration. Besides a student exchange, maybe other uh, collaboration, we join research, something like that. Okay, uh, now uh, maybe some of, okay, from ITS, from Institute of Technology Surabaya, Pak Wahyu, silakan. Yeah, thank you so much, Bu Esther. Uh, hello, Professor Isfan, and also uh, Dr. John, a uh, post guy. Yeah, so my name is Wahyu. I'm the from Institute Technology, 10 November, or ITS Surabaya. So we are actually uh, one of engineering university, uh, engineering technology university in Indonesia. So first of all, uh, I would like to um, sending out appreciation because one of our students as well, Mr. Fahri, has already also accepted in this my university text and. Uh, so far, we got a very, very um, positive response from him, and we are very glad actually uh, that you can you take care of our students very well. So first of all, that's thank you. Uh, secondly, uh, I would like to uh, deliver uh, this, uh, the, my first question is maybe it's quite more general, yeah, because you know as you you receive uh, I, I I saw I understood that you receive a lot of uh, Indonesian students which very various many uh, university Indonesia, and of course the first thing that we need to do is actually the connection. Yeah, maybe the connection is can helping us to maintain of our relationship. So to before we move to the uh, partnership stage, maybe. Yeah. So I would like to ask is actually maybe it's also on behalf of the other my colleagues here from Indonesia. Uh, so do you think is there any possibility? Or uh, also you may have like us, for example, if we would like to invite you in the mirror. Uh, in fact, your 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 faculty staff, prospective staff, or maybe you may recommend uh, how we can find the contact of the faculty to invite you, for example, guest lecturer online, guest lecturer because um, we uh, from I guess uh, we believe that connection through professor professor also is uh, helping us to maintain connect, uh, the relationship between the university. Yeah, because we, we just want to make sure there is any activity between us. So if you if if you agree with that, so maybe you may uh, give us insight uh, so normally um how the uh, the probability yeah, is or interest in your faculty staff to teaching to give lecture especially to indonesian as well yeah well maybe you may also direct us the website how we can find the contact information or not uh, secondly is about your university actually uh, actually you have not mistaken yeah if i'm not mistaken uh we already meet actually in apa ea 2019 in kuala lumpur yeah if i'm not mistaken because i remember that my colleague is yeah. Uh, Dr. Posgai, <laughs> I found that was second again. So actually, um, uh, on the last the last conversation is we agreed to make a MOU, but I need to check uh, with the, my colleagues who attended who meet the Dr. Posgai uh, before uh, before on that analysis. But um, we are hoping that ITS actually um, really eager yeah to have more uh, deeper collaborate deeper collaboration between ITS and University Banks. 
especially in many many times not only in mobility but also uh, in our uh, research collaboration and also in academic cooperation so but so far that um in order to to maybe regain again uh from the last 2019 maybe after pandemic and also especially the is nice momentum so we are hoping that the first thing that we need to do we would like to invite you in our just like program uh we have the brand of our program namely just like your um, sdgs yeah who invite um are the faculty to to, to to deliver the, the the lecture related to SDGs, yeah, in in many if in the 70s uh, code. So I think this is the best way to invite you, and also maybe uh, if if you are so we you can also invite you in our brand program, namely let's study abroad session. So in order to introduce university packs more deeper to IDS student, because uh, as the uh, I myself is as the promotion and mobility program manager in my university so my job is actually the first thing is to promote the partner and opportunity to our student as well especially uh, this semester uh, we just started our physical <laughs> physical um face-to-face -face, uh, uh lecturer in here thank you so much uh, professor isman and also Buester. okay thank you. how are you okay okay bapak ibu is there any question? Is there any question? Any more questions? Here, uh, Mister. Pak Bambang, yeah, from yes, thank you. PNPG, Bu. Universitas Pembangunan Nasional, yeah, asking Jakarta, for email. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Email. Thank you very much, Bu Esther. And of course, uh, Professor Span Tarosi. Uh, good morning, I think, in Budapest or in, in Hungary, in Hungary, and of course, very cold session i think uh, this this time so uh, thank you very much for your excellent presentation about university of pacts and program you mentioned also about possibility cooperation with other universities in indonesia UAP, upnpg has have uh, seven faculties and willing to cooperate uh, with your university because you mentioned this possibility for cooperation with uh, other universities in Indonesia. So uh, UPNPG as the public university, um, if it's possible, uh, we will soon send a letter to your university, especially to you as the director of international cooperations. And of course, we will also CC to our embassy in Budapest uh, we hope that the, our cooperation will be implemented in soon, uh, especially in exchange uh, students lecture, guest lecture, join uh, publication and research and others. So thank you very much once again, uh, Professor and Bu Esther, terima kasih for your excellence uh, uh, this event. Thank you very much, Pak Professor and Bu uh, Esther. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you. Okay, Bapak Ibu. Any other questions? May I? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Ibu Esther. It's, uh, my pleasure to meet you, uh, Professor Itzwan. My name is Rukmawati from UPN Veteran Yogyakarta. So, uh, our university is uh, brothers with uh, Pak Bambang's university. So, we are under the same you, uh, veterans. Um, I just uh, want to follow up what. Uh, Dr. Rennie mentioned before about exchanging academics and also uh, the possibility of having guest lectures from Pax University. And I just wondering because uh, now it's, it's, we are still in the pandemic situation, we have this uh, collaboration online. So we would like to invite the lecturers to give lectures uh, at our university, but it is online. So maybe we can just start first with one or two meetings, and then if it is possible, and then with, if we agree, we can set uh, the partnership in a certain subjects. So uh, how could we work on that part? So uh, do we need to submit certain proposal or uh, could you help us connect with the certain lecturers that may be matched with uh, our lecturers here? And then we can discuss uh, like more privately to the certain lecturers because it, it would be very specific, I guess, 
uh, if we talk about a certain subject. So uh, that's one thing. And then uh, the other thing, I also would like to know whether you have a program also for virtual mobility for the students. Yeah, if uh, you do have it, then uh, how could we participate on your program or the vice versa? If we have a virtual pro, uh, program, either it is a short program or uh, a bit longer, then uh, would it be possible for us to offer it uh, to you? So that's uh, our uh, questions. And then last, uh, I would like to thanks or express our gratitude because Pax University already look after one of our students. So Altrarik is uh, studying there and uh, I think he did really well, excellent. I think all the mark is great. And then we are really pleased uh, with the result and he really expressed um, his um, happiness during his study there. And it's, it's really like that. He doesn't want to go back. <laughs> okay, but I said, okay, maybe he can continue uh, his further study next to Pax because, uh, yeah, I believe this as the one of the uh, the oldest, I think that this is the oldest university in uh, Hungary. So you have a very uh, prominent professors that can help our students. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dr. Esther, would you allow me to reflect a bit on these three uh, yeah, sure. proposals and questions? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, dear colleagues, for all these uh, important questions you have raised and your uh, firm intention to collaborate with us, uh, to stay open uh, for, for visiting the opportunities of collaboration. Now, um, you know, I collected a couple of questions and uh, wish to uh, refer to those. Um, we can, as our international center is located in our rector's office, and this is basically an institution-wide coordination center responsible for internationalization and all the international partnerships, all the international mobility programs, we can therefore facilitate any uh, setting up of any contact. Uh, so if you, if you can offer um, a list of um, potential domains, scientific domains, disciplines, uh, programs, uh, courses that uh, you would start with, then we can look into those and, and you know, talk with our colleagues and then, and then let you connect then direct, directly, yes, uh, the, um, the potential professors involved. But first, let's do it on the institutional level. Let us have your proposals and your questions in our international center. And then we connect you to the respective colleagues and respective units that are the best for that given uh, opportunity. As long as all of you are mentioning guest lecturing, I, I fully underscore that that's the best way to start any partnership with. And there are a couple of uh, faculty uh, who are willing to do it, who have been traveling all across the globe, offering all sorts of guest lectureships. Uh, if we are talking about the physical kind of presence at your campus sites in your universities. But when we talk about the virtual opportunities, we have more and more of those as well. Um, I told you in the presentation that we are part of this new European Alliance called European Digital University. And that, that focuses on digital solutions, virtual courses, virtual mobility options as well. So in the past two years, we developed a lot of such things. And um, in addition to students coming from the Alliance members, we, at certain courses, we open up to all other partners. And yes, therefore, your students might also join some of these virtual mobility options. Um, so all are out there for us. The best to start with is us to receive your um, questions and, and proposals, and then we, we, we deal with those and connect the right platforms and, and colleagues. Thank you. Thank you very much, Prof. Tarsi. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, we have shared your, your email in the chat, I think, uh, because some of the staff of the participants would like to, uh, to know your email address. 
we want to communicate with you directly. Okay, any other questions, Bapak Ibu? Masih ada lagi, Bu Esther? Ya, silakan, monggo. Okay. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Uh, maybe good morning uh, for Professor Isfan and uh, other team from Pax University. It's such a pleasure for me uh, to join in this meeting. It's very wonderful presentation from your side. Uh, and then, um, uh, uh, how to say, I'm really interested in one of your presentation about the student services, about the body network. Of, uh, oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. My name is Surya Evita from Universitas Shah Kuala. <laughs> sorry. So, uh, uh, in our university, we have like a student body program that uh, the same, like our uh, student body help this, uh, the international student to uh, uh, adjust in the, our university, right? So, my question is like, uh, I'm really interested like uh, to make like a, a virtual uh, a webinar, like about the... Uh, body network, maybe your student can share uh, their uh, experience uh, about uh, their job to be the body network and help the international student in PECS University. Uh, so it will be increasing our our student motivation to help the international student, right? And then maybe they have like uh, also the international exposure. Uh, so is that possible to do that? And then one more question about the uh, virtual internship, because like, you know, this situation maybe our student uh, uh, maybe like for the regular program cannot go to to your university is that possible to do the virtual internship maybe like in some center for example like we are, we are right now also uh, like develop the artificial intelligence uh, department we have new department uh, for that so is that possible maybe to do like in some center in your university not only for that that uh, that subject of course but other subjects so they can do virtual internship for one month or more so they, they can uh, how, how to say uh, get more experience and knowledge of course yeah thank you Thank you so much. If I may also involve my good colleague, Dr. Poshgai, especially in the second part concerning this virtual internship, uh, because she was developing it actually in the past couple of years together with some North American partners. So we do offer virtual internship as well as we can foster a joint webinar you are proposing. That would be so great. Uh, and to let our students actually join that. You are absolutely right to, to, to allow them to have this international exposure, as you say. Um, let's work the details out. Certainly we are, we, are, we are for it. And that could be a joint activity already, you know, that might pave the way forward for other collaboration. Let's do it. But please, Dr. Pojgai, can you come and, and tell us a bit more yes, about this yes. virtual Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, so last year we launched a pilot virtual internship program with one of our American partner universities. And we were very satisfied with the result. There was an American student working for our study abroad and summer school office from her home university. And we could collaborate very well together. And she highly contributed to our activities from her home university. So we would definitely like to continue this kind of uh, online program and I am more than happy to hear that your university is interested in it so I would be delighted to to start a discussion about it online via email okay thank you very much for your answer okay thank you okay thank you Buria thank you uh Gyeongzi. other questions Because here we have also representatives from uh, many um, various universities, several universities in Indonesia. Hello, okay, from USU, Bu Taslim. Yes. Okay, silakan. Thank you, Esther. Uh, good morning for uh, Mr. Tarosi from uh, Hungary and also other teams. And I think it's afternoon in here. I'm Taslim Rubis from Universitas Sumatra Utara. Actually, I am a lecturer in uh, Faculty of Cultural and Science, and I'm really interested about your explanation, what, a, what an excellent uh, presentation. Well, um, I have one question. Actually, um, yes, like others um, participants, we would like to have a, a partnership with your, uh, I'm sorry if I mispronunciation, but university. Um, <laughs> yeah, such as um, uh, student exchange and also a stipendium, stipend 
Deum Hungarian Scholarship Program and also guest lecture. But uh, I have one question for you. I uh, guess uh, right now I'm working on a language, endangered language documentation program. And I think uh, I just want to know, I wonder uh, if in your university there's a, a researcher or something like a researcher who works in the same, um, um, in the same field with me, I think. Uh, uh, can you uh, give me a, a little bit explanation about, uh, is there any researcher there who work about uh, endangered language documentations? Because I have a, uh, I have a grant actually from uh, SOAS University of London in, 2000, in 2019, and I'm still working on it uh, to uh, document an endangered language in Indonesia. I think I really need to collaborate with uh, Researchers in your uh, university too. Uh, thank you. Uh, I think that's all. Terima kasih, Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, we have a lot of uh, colleagues who are experts related to all sorts of domains of linguistics and language research. So if you send us exactly uh, what your research is about, is that can I can I understood well? Uh, could I could I understand you well? Um, Endangered or indigenous? Which one? Endangered? Endangered. 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 Yes, endangered. Okay. So um, yeah, yeah. No, we can we can ask around our linguists and and researchers in in a number of you know language related issues. Um, let me just also add, you know, Page is as as I showed you located in a very rich multicultural and multilingual in that respect multilingual heritage context, and that means that for instance some of our lecturers come from a German linguistic background because of their families, you know. Um, some others would come from a Croatian background and others, you know. And, and the language policies actually connected to endangered languages might be of interest to you. And there are researchers, some of my colleagues, um, in addition to my, you know, um, teaching duties as, as a political scientist, one of my degrees was in linguistics. So I know some of these colleagues actually, and you know, uh, they are very much embedded in those local li linguistic related aspects that might be of interest to you. But please do send me um, your research oh, yeah. scope, uh, your questions, and then we can you know, connect to, to colleagues. Um, in, in, the, in the sense of um, the proposal in terms of what we can you know, collaborate on, uh, let there be guest lectures and so on, we can work out the details, but once again, I think the, the best start is to get connected as lecturers yes. and, and figuring out then later on how we can foster student exchanges, of course. One more thing my colleague, Dr. Dionji is responsible for um, is basically the short cycle programs. That is also a very easy way to start a collaboration. And, and just to give you the proper example, um, a year ago, actually, um, a student from Asia, yeah, let's not mention the country, uh, enrolled in one of our summer schools, then wanted to enroll for a semester long program, and now would like to study at the University of Page for another degree program. So we really can offer the step by step, you know, level up level kind of, um, you know, opportunities for, for any of the partners. So a good way to start off with is to get enrolled in a short cycle program of a summer school or a, a, a shorter program. Thank you very much. We will contact uh, you uh, via email. Thank you. Please do that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Butas name. Okay. Uh, is there any more questions? Bapak Ibu? Okay. Bu Kartika, silakan. Okay. Hello, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you, Bu uh, Esther, to organize such an excellent event for cooperation with Tech University. I'm Kartika, I'm the Secretary uh, Office of International Service, Universitas Negeri Yogyakarta. Uh, I'd like to uh, mention that uh, my sister is currently uh, undertaking a PhD in Pax University. <laughs> so that's one additional reason for me to initiate a partnership with Pax because uh, yeah, from her, I got a lot of stories about Pat University. And therefore, I'd like to ask for the stipendium hungarium, like uh, this is also a good opportunity for young lecturers in our university or also other universities in Indonesia 
because they look for a chance to study abroad, especially the one that's under the uh, uh, foreign government, like the Stipendian Hungarium. Uh, maybe do you have any preference on the uh, faculties or field of subjects that uh, University of PAX uh, consider the applicants so that we can uh, broadcast or share the information to our university that's for uh, the PhD opportunities and also maybe with the virtual I think a lot of uh, universities also here would like to cooperate in virtual mobility uh, I would like also to ask if you ever work with what we call so as a reciprocal, so that we both have mutual uh, benefits with the virtual, maybe for example, like a waiver of the tuition fee or the course fee, and then we do virtually, but or anything else that can be added as the mutual benefit between the two university. Okay, thank you very much. That's my questions. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, in terms of the Stipendium Hungaricum program that is run by the Hungarian government and there is a, an agency of the government called Tempus Public Foundation. They are responsible for the coordination of this program. Um, over 80 countries signed on the governmental level bilateral agreements with the Hungarian government. And there are certain annual quotas in those agreements. I cannot recall the Indonesian quota, but that also means that all levels of education and training, BA, MA, and PhD are involved. Um, and what the program does is actually to invite Hungarian universities to offer a scheme, a, 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 you know, a portfolio, um, and then they advertise that. So anybody can choose from anything, basically. We don't have a preference. So that's one, of, one part of, of my answer to your question. We don't have a preference in terms of, of the doctoral programs. Out of our 22 doctoral schools, most of them offer programs in English as well. And you know, your, your colleagues can join any of those if, and this is the major answer part, if, um, because it's a very competitive grant as ISMA is, you know, um, so it's an excellence program basically. If Indonesia nominates the applicant and then, you know, the host university that was chosen as the first place for that given opportunity, any applicant can, can uh, you know, apply for two placements, number one and number two. So after the nomination, the university then will have the chance to, to have a, an entrance exam, an interview and whatsoever. And then if all these would end up in a yes and yes and yes, then, then that person can start their education and research at that chosen university. So, you know, governments are involved, these agencies are involved, it's a complicated process and we don't have a preference. Our preference is to have excellent colleagues and students come into any of the programs they choose, what we offer, you know? So, but if you have, and this is the last part of my answer, if you have any colleague who is interested in um, you know, any of our programs in uh, greater depth, let us know. And we can start already the discussion that might end up in a nice you know, PhD placement. Yeah? Uh, in terms of the reciprocity, very important for us as well. So we can negotiate certain deals in terms of what kind of tuitions are waived as in the context of what others offered, you know? So we can, we can work out details. We are open to that as well. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, thanks, Prof. Uh, it's fun. Okay, other questions? Okay, Bu, is there any other questions? Dr. Esther, if there is no question at this point, yeah. May I just ask my colleague, Mr. Tse, if we have a minute or so to underline the importance of this international credit mobility scheme, because that also offers and we can use EU for funding sources for exchanging professors and students, if oh, you agree with that. My pleasure. Please. Thanks. Uh, thank you, Ishtan. Um, and thank you for raising this question. Uh, indeed, the international credit mobility, the Erasmus International Credit Mobility, is, is an important uh, tool of the European Commission. 
uh, which uh, which enables uh, European institutions to uh, uh, implement mobilities with uh, with non-EU partners. However, I would I, I I would also like to mention that the the funding the to the total available funding for uh, partners uh, with Asia uh, is quite limited so so we don't have a lot of uh, uh, scholarships to uh, to uh, I would say win or or get in this uh, uh, scheme uh, it is not so generous as the ESMA scholarship scheme from your perspective but anyway of course we are open to to uh, um, to apply with the selected few universities with, with Indonesia, and actually we also we, we already have uh, uh, one uh, institution with with which we have got a, a limited number of scholarships, and that is Binus University. Uh, so we also decided to uh, to uh, include. Uh, and another uh, university from the uh, from the ESMA pool, and that is the uh, and I, I have to read this because this <laughs> uh, this is the Universitas uh, Muhammadiyah uh, uh, University. Uh, so um, yes, uh, we can and we we would like to cooperate, but uh, we have to understand that. Uh, uh, scholarship uh, numbers are somewhat limited actually at the moment i am uh, i am uh, uh, involved with the uh, uh, with the institutional application for this uh, for this for the next uh, round which which is for the 2022 and 20 uh, uh, five period uh, and so we are just in the process of uh, 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 preparing the institutional application in which we we uh, include all the all the universities we would like to uh, uh, get uh, funding so there are a number of universities not only from Asia but from all over the uh, the globe so <laughs> It is a pretty tough job at the moment, but um, if not in this year, then maybe in the next three next year, because the the um, application is is in each year, uh, so we can also uh, uh, try to uh, apply with another Indonesian uh, universities in the next round, which is one year from now. So in next. Uh, January or February, we can also uh, apply with some other new universities from Indonesia. Thanks a lot. And I think this is a, a good opportunity in terms of supplementing, you know, all the efforts. Um, it's a limited pool, but yes, uh, one or two or three, who, who knows how many exactly, can be, can be available for starting a partnership or deepening a partnership a supplementary tool as i as i would uh, define it yeah and let's not forget about it thank you Gabor. thank you very much uh is there any guidebook or guide on uh, about credit mobility especially uh, the ones funded by Erasmus plus maybe there is a link for us to follow like a guidance step by step what to do if you Yes, yes. I mean, yeah. Gabor is in the in the process of writing it now, okay. and there is a very strict, uh, even in terms of the counting of words, mm -hmm. how much you have to put into which box. Oh, okay. So Gabor can be, uh, you know, uh, sending you exactly this uh, this protocol or whatever, and the questions we need to focus on. Okay. Thank you, uh, Mr. Gabor. Thank you. Okay. Uh, because uh, we are interested in that uh, credit mobility program. Could I ask uh, one more? Yeah, silakan burukmu. Uh, thank you. So I just want to follow up about the Erasmus. So my understanding is that uh, the Peck University will submit the proposal and then 
uh, the partners that want to be included have to submit a certain statement related to the application. Is it? So uh, is there any limitation number of par uh, partners that would like to be included into the proposal or uh, it's open to any university? So do you have any requirement for us if we would like to be included in the partnership to get the Erasmus? There, there is a new rule now and uh, the application focuses on macro regions. Uh, Gabor can tell you a bit more on that. The thing is that uh, we know from the Hungarian perspective, because we have as a member state of the EU, we have to submit the application to the Hungarian agency. And the Hungarian agency opened up certain financial pools dedicated to the macro regions. There is no limitation in that respect per se, but the pools are limited. So we have to consider how many partners are included in which if we want to succeed. Because when we, if, well, let's say we put 20 universities in a pool and the pool is so narrow, then when we win, we will have only two, let's say, mobility grants. And then how would you distribute? So I think we need to be cautious in that in a realistic way. Um, but there is no such limitation if you, if you ask about that. Gabor? Yes, uh, thank you, Ishvan. Uh, I, I can maybe uh, give you some idea how, actually, I can, I can tell you the, the total available budget uh, for Asia, which is a huge, huge region. And, uh, and out of Asia, Indonesia is, of course, is a huge country in Asia, but there are other countries as well in Asia. And the, the European Commission has uh, defined the, the total available number for Asia for Hungary. So not, not only for Page, but for only for Hungary, we have uh, 400,000 uh, uh, euros available. That is roughly um, uh, 100 mobility scholarships for Asia and for all the Hungarian universities. So you can, you can imagine that's how, how, how hard it is to, to, uh, to get uh, a lot of scholarship for a specific country, for example. So we, out of these 400,000 uh, euros, we, so, so down, down at, at the end of the day, it, it, would, it will be, I think, uh, in realistic terms about, uh, let's say, six or eight uh, scholarships that we can probably get if we are lucky so that that, that uh, I, I I mean that so yeah so yeah in, and I, I think that's that's a, that's a real calculation realistic calculation uh, I also meant that Gabor thank you and basically we need to be cautious to formulate it properly and then when we win to distribute it uh, correctly you know so that's the reason why we would suggest to, to really find and, and establish, uh, you know, firm grounds for the argumentation, you know, and then why we want with that particular university to win a grant to start this program or whatever, yeah? Um, if, we, if we can do it, then we can have extra, as I say, supplementary funding for our collaboration to be launched which is good because that's what we did it with, for instance, with our African partners. And now we are, we are proceeding really nicely with them, for instance, in sub-Saharan African countries. And also it, 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 it could be possible that maybe next year the, the, the available budget will be different, maybe a little bit more, who knows? It's, it, it, it could be different from each year. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. Gabor, um, I think uh, one more question, yeah, if there are, there's any question. Okay, Bapak Ibu, masih ada pertanyaan? Is there any question? In the meantime, if I may mention one more collaboration opportunity within the short-term programs. Uh, last semester, we launched our first semester-long study abroad program online. It was in European studies. And we, we were delighted to receive Indonesian students on this program, 
with the help of the Indonesian International Credit Transfer Program. So we would be very happy to explore the possibility of receiving further students on this online program next year. So if any of your universities is interested in establishing such a partnership, I would be delighted to discuss these details. Thank you. What a great news. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Gyeongji. We'll uh, okay, communicate further yeah, about this. I think if there is no more questions, uh, we come to the end of the event. Okay, Bapak Ibu, one more question. No, no questions. Okay. Uh, thank you for the warm and exciting and very valuable and fruitful discussions. All participants were very enthusiastic about uh, collaborating with Pax University, of course. It can be concluded that at this meeting, uh, a collaboration has been established or even developed yeah, between Pax University and several universities in Indonesia. And uh, all participants can carry out further communication actually with Professor Dr. Istvan Tarozi and also with Dr. Uh, Gyeongzi and Mr. Gabor through email that we shared in the chat. Okay. I'm sure uh, there are still many universities in Indonesia whose representatives may be not able, may not able to uh, attend this event, who also want to collaborate to collaborate with uh, University of Pax. Okay, hopefully uh, the implementation of the collaboration with Pax University can be carried out, even though the COVID-19 pandemic has not ended yet. But we are all optimistic that the COVID-19 pandemic will end soon. Finally, we come to the end of the event. I would like to convey my appreciation and thank to all attendees and participants of, uh, of this partnership meeting. Apology if there are any inconvenience during the meeting. Thank you, Prof. Isfan, Mr. Gabor, Gyeonggi, Parahma, Duida, and Bu Popi juga yang sudah hadir di sini. Thank you all. Take care and stay healthy. And the same to you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Take you. Take care. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Esther. Bye. Masih ada? Nanti di email aja, Bu, ya. Kalau ada yang ini, Abang, yang kurang. You. Ini ada ada chat di chatnya ada emailnya ya. Oke, okay, thank you very much, Bapak Ibu. Thank you, Bapak Ibu. Jin Mas, Jin Lagi. Terima kasih, Bu Esther. Sama-sama, Pak Dirizal. Tolong di page misses you too. I have to tell you. Yeah. And I couldn't have putting this group photo here in the background. We were delighted to have you all here. Miss you, miss you. And it oh, was great to you. see you again. Take yeah. care. Thank you so much, Miss Gyeonggi. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Tolongin nanti jadi apa ya, volunteer di Kui ya. Harus jadi MC gitu loh. Volunteer ya, student volunteer, student body. Baik Bu, okay. siap. Ya, terima kasih. kasih. Thank you very much, Bapak Ibu. Terima kasih atas uh, kehadirannya di sini. Terima kasih banyak Bapak dan Ibu. Saya izin lift. Terima kasih. Lift ya, okay. terima kasih. Izin Bu Esther. Hmm.